In this video, I'm going to talk about errors and exceptions that occur in Java programs. The first one we're going to talk about are syntax errors. Syntax errors are mistakes in the syntax of how we write the Java program. Now, these are usually caught very early on, especially now with the development environments that we have that automatically compile. So in other words, if I go to our driver, our driver program, if I misspelled this prompt for integer method call here, maybe I used an uppercase P, you see that's a syntax error because Java is case sensitive. So it's immediately going to tell me that, although it will give me kind of an interesting message, which is cannot find symbol. And cannot find symbol just means I'm trying to call something that doesn't exist. It doesn't tell me that I've miscapitalized it. It just tells me it cannot find this method. So that's a syntax error. Typically, a red line indicates a syntax error. And the best thing we want to do when we see a syntax error is stop and fix it. The next type of error that we're going to have is one that we don't desire. And that's something that comes up when the program is running. And that's a runtime error. So a runtime error happens when we do something like we try to access array element number 11 when an array only has 10 elements. Or we take the word 10 and we try to parse that into a number. Or we just take complete gibberish and try and parse that into a number. It can also happen if we have not done defensive programming and we have not assigned a value to all of our variables. In that case, we can get a null pointer exception. So these are things that can crash our program if they're not handled uh, correctly. And in an upcoming video, I'm going to talk about some best practices on how to handle exceptions. Exceptions tend to be really confusing for a lot of people who are just starting programming. But there are some guidelines that we can use that will help us think about when to use exceptions and how to use them well. The third type of error that we're going to get is a logic error. A logic error is a bit interesting because the program compiles, so it's not a syntax error. Syntax error would, would prevent a program from compiling. The program runs, so it's not a runtime error, but we're getting maybe different data than we expect. So maybe something's been programmed incorrectly or we're getting garbage data, or maybe we just think that we wrote a program one way, but because we used copy and paste a whole lot, we maybe missed a couple of cases. So logic errors are things that tend to happen after the program has compiled and is running. And this is where it's important to have a, a QA staff to check your program and look for any errors that you might not have seen. So with that, we'll go on and talk a little bit about exception handling in Java. And as I mentioned, I have a separate recording, which will get this in more depth. But one real key to making a quality program is handling exceptions well. And so exceptions will happen under one of two circumstances. One is we're trying to access something outside of our program, like a file or a database or a network, and something goes wrong. In that case, Java requires that we think about what we would do in that circumstance, and we have to handle that exception. That's called a checked exception. The other type of exception is an unchecked exception, and that's something that good programming should avoid. An unchecked exception is something like trying to access an array element that doesn't exist or trying to convert garbage data to a number. So that's something that could happen at any time in our program. It's not specific to accessing a database or a file or a network connection as a checked exception would be. So the following set of slides here on ucjava.com uh, discuss a lot of the ins and outs of exceptions and a lot of those details, but I will pass this off to the next video where we're actually going to do some hands-on examples with exceptions and we're going to watch what happens when we create an exception. But if you'd like to take a look at some examples and source code, you can either take a look at the GitHub link for this project or you can go to these slides right off of ucjava.com. Thank you.